Hello everybody, it's Cinemat Haven here today, and we're going to be taking a look at the KV4 KTTS. This is a tier 8 Russian premium, and um, kind of a one-trick pony. Be careful whenever you play this thing, it really is a one-trick pony. So, first things first, let's actually go ahead and uh, hopefully click the right button. I think we clicked the right button. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys are looking at my screen right now. You know, it's just simple, right? Right? Still working on only one monitor. We're going to be getting that second one up pretty soon. Fingers crossed. So we can see what's going on. But till then, we're stuck with it like this. So starting off, we're just going to go against the, you know, its own gun for a second. Looking at it, you know, auto ricochet, that entire side armor, you're looking at 125 millimeters. Up in the top armor, you got your 40, your lower plate up in front, 175. Not exactly the thickest, kind of a little bit thin. You know, it's it's going to be really easy to go through. But then the top one up here, you got 200 millimeters. And if you're coming around a corner just right, it, it, it can be pretty good. Now, one of the biggest downfalls of this, whenever you are side scraping and you kind of take your gun off the target a little bit, you're going to be exposing your complete side turret, just a little bit of your cheek. So make sure you're always aiming at the target as much as you can. Along with that, if they're firing off premium rounds, they can go through the top of your hatch at the little bit of a side angle there. And this is being compared to PC, so console, we all know the penetration got buffed and damage got debuffed. So, careful. It kind of hurts, just a little bit. I hope you guys don't hear me scooting the mic. Oh, okay. It, it's, what, Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah, it's start of the week. Way to, way to do it, right? Next up. 227 base penetration along with the 289 premium pin. Premium inside this tank is a PCR that travels at 1300 meters a second. Your standards travel at like 1037, 1057. Um, I can't remember the exact number. It is one max shell speed. Did they break it? Or am I looking at... Oh, well, um, there's there's lots of fun things that always happen. And we tap X in the KTTS, and the Bison pops up. So now we go Module Viewer. It's the Bison. That's not what I wanted. At all. Good job, Wargaming. You break something absolutely simple all the time. And you expect us just to smile and wave. So we'll actually take a look at the PC. So 1,043. I do think that the AP, it's a little bit different. But that, yeah, the 1,304. It's a rough estimate of what console got. So it's actually really close. We probably just don't have the four. I think it's 1,300 on the dot. And that's all we got. But jumping back over to you know, the actual website here. That's actually loading rather than what I'm looking at in front of me. Wargaming tends to break something that's like super important all the time and Yeah, yeah it, it is what it is. So don't expect to spot for yourself with that 350 view range You know you you're gonna want to try and boost your view range as much as you can and even with premium consumable Coded optics situational awareness you, you might be looking at 430 to 440 view range overall so yeah just be a little bit careful with that you're not going to be spotting for yourself too often you're going to be struggling it, it it's a one trick pony tank it's going to be quite a, oh look at that still concealment 0 0.1 and then if you look over in the game 407.48 ouch however the high explosives on this tank 62 milliliters pin that's really going to mend a pin 35 top speed, not exactly the greatest, which honestly, I don't know why they include top speed here. It's like any other premium tank. You got a 150% silver earn rate and 7.14 rounds a minute. You can get the reload of this tank down to about 6.3 seconds if you really wanted to using a gun ram or everything else. But for me, I prefer the traction system that they just recently added to the game. It gives you... That extra top speed combined with the extra top speed, it's going to give you additional traverse speed of the tank. And it's just going to be helping out in so many ways. Uh, along with that, aim time 2.5 seconds. 2.5 seconds, not exactly the greatest aim time to have. But it's there and it's going to be doing a, a decent job. 
Now, ammo capacity 90, you can load an absolute variety inside this tank and not worry about too much. The rear armor of it, keep in mind, the rear armor of the KTTS is thick. It's 90 to 100 millimeters. So if you need to try and back up and bait a shot into your rear, you can do that. It's not too bad. View range, though, dude, it's just not that good. Now, coming back over, let's go back to the 3D model. What's really cool is on PC, it only goes 45 off its right side but on console we actually have 45 45 going both ways which means that the tank is a little bit buffed compared to what it is over on pc with the way that the gun's going to be able to aim 45 to the left and 45 to the right which is a nice feature that they added for console exclusive however the top reverse speed of 10 kilometers you're going to be filling this absolutely destroying you. you you're going to be trying to back up and try to handle your target but you're not going to be able to out back up against them or you know with your terrain resistance of 1.5 1.7 2.8 basically if you end up in a brawling match you're more than likely going to get taken out inside the ktts and it's just not going to be that fun now this tank it's just getting worse and worse every single time we look at something new Signal range, 360 meters. Yeah, that's you're, you're not going to be able to call for help anyone past your render range at all. You can request fire. They're not going to get the signal. You're going to spot out a target. They're not going to see them if they're not within your signal range. And you're just going to find this tank lacking an absolute crap load whenever it comes down to it. Other than that, dispersion values 0.36. I am running a super crew in this tank, and sadly, each time I load the uh, module viewer, it brings up the bison. So, thank you, Wargaming. You like to break stuff. I actually wonder if we were to go ahead and actually do this. Let's go ahead and come over to the KTTS. We're going to add favorite. Head back over to favorites. And now it's the only tank in this list. And why is the bison there? Okay, customize. And it goes back to the bison. That is... a little annoying. I'm sorry, you guys. This is... They, they tend to break stuff, and then it's my job to try and find out how to fix it to make it work. And I don't think it's gonna work. Bison? Oh. I wonder if we can go, like, really fast. Did a... No. Alright. Oh well, but we're going to be playing it live today. Keep in mind, I personally do not recommend this tank at all. It is just lacking in so many ways, and with all the new bigger maps that they added to the game, this tank is just not worth pulling out. However, just popping in the store is the uh, TS-5, the Bone Shaker. I would recommend the unskinned variant of that over the KTTS. KTTS is probably going to get a, get its butt whooped by the TS-5 when it comes down to a head-to-head -head fight. Especially since the TS-5 has got a 400 alpha rather than a 320 and maybe a whole nother second on the reload. I would much rather see TS-5s in the field than this tank. Because this tank, it's lacking in a lot more ways than just one. Your top armor is only 40 millimeters, which means against most tier eights that have 122s or tier nines or tens, they're just gonna be overmatching your top armor. Along with that, it's just, it, it feels like a one trick pony that can't move too much. And it, it's really sad to see that I'm in the bison. I'm uploading this. KTTS review. I'll upload gameplay. I'm sorry, you guys. Look at this. What just happened? What? Made you think I wanted to pull out the bison? I don't even have a crew on the bison. Was I hovering over the bison? I don't think I was. 
I think I specifically selected the only tank in the garage to be the KTTS. And, and just keep in mind, don't buy it, dude. KTTS is just beyond horrible. I'm not lying. It's not worth it. But what is this? Why am I in the bison? I don't remember selecting the bison. Wargaming, you messed up again. Wow. Uh, it would be nice to have some teamwork right here. Ooh, Hesh rounds. You're making mistakes, my friend. And I'm going to make sure I take full advantage of your mistake. So, no crew. I'm inside a bison. Do I even have equipment on this thing? I don't think I... I think I took all the equipment off my bison a long time ago because I don't want to play this tank until I'm ready to play this tank. And I'm not ready to play this tank. And the fact that I'm in it is... Just what's going on? Wow. I don't know about you guys, but this is weird. This is really weird. I've never seen bugs this bad. Well, it happened, and th there's no going back. We're, we're going to call this good. It's June 1st, by the way. This is how broken the game is in June. My birthday is right around the corner, and my favorite game's broke. Which means my birthday, I might just play Skyrim. I don't know. Dude, this this is just I've never I've never had this before. This is What? No crew, no nothing, just complete confusion and misunderstanding and no accuracy bonuses, nothing. Just driving and playing with a tank. I don't even think we have equipment on it. I really don't. We're gonna find out after this match though, that's for sure. Yeah, we're gonna miss that. That's okay. Hello, Exc Excalibur. I wonder if I wonder how many people are experiencing this right now because this is this is funny. This is really funny. Not gonna lie, this is hilarious that I'm in a tank I didn't select. I have never experienced this before. Hello, 50 TP. Did you experience the same thing I did? If so, I'm sorry. But I'm going to shoot you. And Iron Rain hits us. Yeah, there was an Iron Rain all the way out there. That's okay, though. Because I ended up in a match with without my super crew. With, without, I don't, I really don't think I had any equipment on this because of the reload. Uh, along with that, T29 just sitting out in the open. Well played, good sir. Well played. Well, KTTS, guys, that is my opinion on it. Don't buy it. The game's broke. Yeah, clearly the KTTS is sitting right in front of us. Can we select it? It won't even let me select it. It's just... Look at that. It doesn't even say hold A to select. It just says click X to customize. And then it goes straight to the bison. But clearly KTTS is sitting in front of us with a crew. Going to take off the favorites here. And since the bison's in a match... Okay, Sunset Coast. Keep in mind, I'm just going to... You know what? I don't even care how long this thing turns out to be. That was hilarious. Oh my god! Oh. Dun 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 
Did I drive off a cliff? I I'm a little bit in the mood to just drive off a cliff right now. A little bit in the mood to just to drive off the cliff. Right right off the cliff. Because if the only tank I can tend to play today is going to be my Bison. Or the T-103. I'm, I'm going to be... A little bit upset. And clearly, I'm, I'm happy I'm recording and playing live today. Because I selected the KTTS twice. 2021. The things we expected Wargaming to do. And they broke it again. Uh, what makes you think I wanted to play the bison? I don't think I ricocheted around from that trailblazer. No. There's another medium light tank over there, but... Whatever, I don't have a crew. I have no clue what's going on. So... I'm just gonna go hug a wall, block shells with my barrel, and... I, I I don't know what I have no equipment. I have nothing on this tank because I, I don't play the regular variant of this tank So There's nothing on this at all and I don't know what to think except for M41 Brazil lobbing premium I I don't know what to say Wargaming, stop breaking stuff. Seriously, don't get me wrong, I like the Bison, so they're good tanks, but... What makes you think I want to pull out a Bison with legitimately no equipment on it and just nothing on the tank? This thing it literally has nothing on it. Oh look, Ramo Reactor, we have no equipment to fix it. Good game, guys. Good game. Well... How many more tanks do we have to go through to be able to play a match in the KTTS? I wonder. Do we gotta play like 20 more? I'm a little afraid because the Bison's back out. All right, so it's KTTS. Because clearly, clearly, we're and Bison T103. Bi it's just Bison this, Bison that. Uh, just favorites. Okay, K. Clearly, the KTTS is sitting in customize, and then it goes straight to the Bison, and then it's just like, hey, you cannot change any of your equipment. Is that even the right stats? Yeah, it is the right stats. It is That's the right tank. Now, take the favorites off. I'm sorry, you guys. This is just... There, there's no way that I have equipment on that tank. And then... Okay, so that, that thing's completely spotless. Shas I would have rather ended up in the Shaska, for crying out loud. At least that's got concealment. But, Bison. KTTS. And then, hello, Bison. How are you? Alright, well, um... Hope you guys enjoyed. I, I know I didn't. But, KTTS, don't buy it. Don't do it. At all. This tank is just a one-trick pony. That I wasn't able to show off. So I guess we'll have to do an updated version later in the future. But as of right now. Broken. Thanks Wargaming. Leave a like. Comment. Subscribe. Seriously comment on this. This is this absolute. BS. And. I'm gonna go back and play Mech Warrior. You guys. This. I'll be. I'll be back on tanks in like a, a week. Maybe in a couple days. Or they better just give me my straw of K for free because this is this is dumb. This is just I was supposed to start my free to play, but I can't start my free to play if it's broken. Wow. Alright. Catch you guys later.